Captain's Log USS Constellation on routine patrol, fairly near the neutral zone. No one really likes patrolling near there but the Constellation has drawn the job this time. The zone has been relatively quiet, and the so have the Romulans. I would rather they be a little more active. At least we would know what they are doing. Captain, priority message from Starfleet. We are to proceed to a point near the neutral zone. No other information has been presented. You don't have anything else? No sir. The message is top priority. We are to proceed at warp 5 or better. Navigator, how close to the neutral zone are the coordinates? Roughly 3 astronomical units, Captain. Just a hair's width in terms of distance. Set a course. Helm, all ahead warp 5. Notify me when we get within 30 minutes of the area. Science officer, medical officer, executive officer to the briefing room. I have called all of you here to discuss our orders. We have been sent to an area near the neutral zone and I have no idea why. Harry you first. Any ideas? It is illogical to assume that I would know more than you do Captain. What do we know about this region of space, other than its proximity to the neutral zone? There are a few objects that have not been catalogued, including a very large asteroid that has not been investigated. It is close to where we are going. I am aware of some space legends referring to evil creatures inhabiting this area of space. According to the legends, the entities can kill with fear. What will I be doing? We don't even know what is happening. You will be treating the casualties if we get into it with the Romulans. Captain Decker to the bridge. Okay everyone. Here is where it starts getting interesting. Stations. A Federation long-range shuttle has appeared at the coordinates. They do not answer hails. Take us to visual range. Sound yellow alert. Raise shields, charge phaser banks. Arm the photon torpedoes. The shuttle is carrying Admiral Eugene Gallagher. Still no hails. Romulan warship decloaking off our port bow. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations. Make reports to the officer of the deck. <coughs> Message coming in captain. We are to stand down and take no offensive action. You are ordered to transport over to the shuttle. Executive officer to the bridge. Sally, I don't know what is happening here. We have a Romulan warship hanging right off our port beam. I have been ordered to the shuttle. Take care of my ship until I get back. You can sit if you want captain, or stand. This Romulan officer, who for our purposes is named Clark, will be joining you. Admiral what is this all about? You are scaring me. Captain, this is under the radar. What I am about to tell you does not leave here. Two months ago we learned of a huge asteroid near here, about 200 miles long. 
It has been transmitting a distress call for about a week, claiming to be under attack. Apparently it is not a military attack, however. So how do the Romulans fit into this? One of our colonies has likewise been under attack. The victim suffers violent hallucinations, then enters a catatonic state before slowly slipping away. We have approached the Federation for assistance because your medicine is more advanced than ours is. Our people are dying, and the people on the asteroid are too. Okay Admiral do you want to tell me the rest? Apparently you have been in contact with the residents of the asteroid ship. No Captain, I don't have anything more to say. We are transferring two Romulan officers to your ship for medical care. They are comatose. You will cooperate with Clark in finding the cause of this. We will transmit the coordinates of the asteroid ship, and you will go there. Your orders are to learn. Approaching a large asteroid. It's gigantic, 300 miles long. Sensors say it may be hollow. Wait, an opening has appeared. Alien Starship please enter. Your safety is our top priority. All ahead one half. We are going in. Shields to maximum. Yellow alert. Phasers, Captain? Photon torpedoes. We won't be shooting at anything once inside. No weapons. Alien vessel, welcome. You will find an area of zero gravity. A representative will meet you at the coordinates we will send to you. Sally take a couple of security guards with you. Watch your back. I am Sally Jenkins, first officer of the Federation Starship Constellation. Yes, we came in response to your distress call. They are human with some minor variations. I can clear that up. We are descended from Earth people brought here centuries ago. We don't remember much about our captors. They were a powerful race who created this place. We drifted through space and until recently, we were relatively happy and well. Then the attacks started. Describe these attacks. What happens? The victim has a terrifying nightmare, but while still awake. Then there is a short lucid period before they slip into a coma and die. We will send down science teams. One more thing. What happened to your captors? Some say they felt regret, others say they got in a war and abandoned us. Either way they freed us.
Who are you people? Where am I? I remember being attacked by a huge eyeball monster and then I woke up here. You are on the United Federation of Planets Starship Constellation. I am Missy Doan, ship's doctor. And I am the ship's captain, Matt Decker. You are in good hands. Can you tell us anything more? I remember seeing something, a hairy thing with many arms. It was just a glimpse. Our lab tests confirm that you have been exposed to a dangerous chemical. Do you work with something like that? Yes it is an industrial coolant left over from those who brought us here. We will have you back up and running in no time. You will need to wear protection when working with this chemical. Captain can we speak in private? Captain, this does not match what we are seeing with the Romulan officers. Their adrenal glands had been working overtime, like they were terrified of something, and it is not easy to frighten a Romulan. What are you suggesting, that this is real? Maybe some kind of creature? I don't know yet. It is like they are literally dying of fright. I will have to put them in stasis. The toxicology screens came up negative. Are you people? I was being attacked by a large dog like creature, horrible. And before that, there was something with tentacles. It is okay. You are in good hands. Captain, I was not present for the last victim. Did he speak of a tentacle creature? Yes, he did. Have other victims spoken of this? Some have, of those who I got to talk to before they slipped away. There may be something to it. I am not familiar with the cases of the two officers who were beamed aboard. However, some others did report a creature with tentacles. Well thank you Clark. I would suggest that you join with one of our science teams. I am willing Captain. We have our own interest in this. There is one more thing that may be important. One of our cargo ships flew by a comet on the way to the colony that was affected. Captain, since Vulcans can control their emotions, I should join the team. Science Officer Johns, what makes you think that you are immune? I am a Vulcan. Whatever this creature is, it will not affect me. I noticed an energy spike, mostly in the ultraviolet range when the girl was injured. I need to check it out. Okay. You, Clark and a science officer will transport down. Issue phasers and full analytical equipment. I am getting readings, sir. Unusual energy. You two should stay back. I will try to lure it out. Vulcan, I am not going anywhere. I realize that you are uncomfortable working with a Romulan. I don't like you either, but we have to work together. Your attitude is much like that of a human. Illogical. Unfortunately, you are here on your own recognizance. <laughs> 